Moms Against Poverty began back in 2008 with the simple belief that every child should have the chance to thrive no matter where they were born. Next weekend, they're holding a big fundraising gala to help them continue with that mission. And joining us this morning are uh, Delfarib Fanayi, uh, Director, uh, CEO of the group, and Director of Development, Becky Graham, to explain more about their mission. Good morning. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Congratulations on 12 years that you've been helping uh, kids all around the world. Uh, Del Farib, let's, let's start with you. How did the organization get started? Uh, the story of MAP mm -hmm. starts with an 11-year-old girl that I met when I was adopting my third child in an orphanage far away. Mm -hmm. She repeatedly asked me to adopt her as well, and I could not. So the last day that I went to say goodbye to her, she asked me the most difficult question has anybody has ever asked me. Uh -huh. She asked me why I can adopt my daughter by not her. Why mm. not me, she asked me. Sure. Had to so be heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. So I came back, and with four other mothers, we decided to form an organization, and since this has developed to this amazing, amazing organization. <laughs> well, you are to be commended, and, and it really shows the power of moms when they get together for a cause like this. And the power of love. Yes. And the power of commitment, yes. uh, because I do, did make a promise to her that mm -hmm. her and the children like her would never be forgotten. Yeah. And we are trying to do good by our promise. Uh, Becky, tell us a little bit about the impact that uh, MAP has had. Yeah, so because of MAP's program since 2008, 200,000 children and families globally have been impacted. Mm -hmm. We've built 27 schools, wow. seven libraries, and we've been able to give free education and vocational training to over 100,000 children. Now, I want to make clear that this is not just in the United States. We're talking about worldwide, aren't we? Absolutely. We're in 14 countries currently working, as mm -hmm. you can see there on the screen. Yeah. Uh, Senegal, Africa, Cambodia, and the list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. You talked a little bit about, about the impact. Uh, Delphi, let, let's continue that a little bit. What, what stands out to you that is closest to your heart about the work that MAP has done? MAP has different projects, I mean, different projects that mm -hmm. we, programs that we support. Yeah. The program that is closest to my heart right now is education, mm -hmm. because we do believe the education is the way, of, way out of the poverty sure. uh, for a lot of countries that we deal with. And right now, building 27 schools and the libraries, as Becky mentioned, has made a significant difference in the lives of so many children internationally. But let's talk about home, because mm -hmm. charity starts from home. Sure. And our partnership with the school districts, family centers, and shelters, and even churches, has made it possible for us to help the children thrive in mm -hmm. those in the different communities, mm -hmm. from Oakland to Half Moon Bay to East Palo Alto to San Francisco. We partner mm -hmm. with these centers, and it has really made a significant difference. To continue on that theme, Becky, what are, what are some of the areas in the Bay Area that have been most help by map. Sure. So we do work with the Peninsula uh, Family Center. Del Freeb has worked very closely with them for the past couple years. We also have a program called Holiday Helping Hands that takes place in December. Del Freeb, how many uh, families were impacted by that event last year? Uh, we know that we have actually had the community children wrap about 2,600 toys that oh. they're given and 500 food carts mm -hmm. that we submitted, you know, we gave it to the families. So so they can have a Christmas meal with, with their families. Right. And our programs is run very carefully to, be, to keep the dignity of the people. So we, for example, we make sure that the centers that we provide these toys with, they give it to the parents, so parents give it to their children. So children oh, do see. not receive the toys from a charity organization and they receive it That's from their own family. Yes. You would wish that more organizations would do the same thing. Yes, that's the way we yeah, love yeah, to. Yeah, that's, that's a fantastic idea. Thank you. Becky, let's talk a little bit about the gala. Oh, that's yeah. coming up next weekend, right? It is next Saturday, October 5th mm -hmm. at the Metreon at their gorgeous venue called the City View. Um, we are going to have incredible entertainment, uh, Samba Sensation, uh, Gypsy Tribe is going to be playing music along with DJ Dr. T, and we're going to have this incredible dance company called Beshkan. In addition to the entertainment, uh, we're going to have Mediterranean cuisine. 
it's just going to be delectable. We're really, really excited about our, our catering. And it starts at 7 and goes till midnight. So Well, you've been doing it for 12 years, and I want to congratulate you for all the great work that you're doing. And if you want more information on the gala, you can get it on uh, cronpour.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you again, so congratulations much. on your work. Thank, Thank you. you for the we'll opportunity. Right Thank you very much. Middle School in Redwood City 